Hi, this is Kevin for Sonova.com. The newest version of Audacity has just arrived, uh, Audacity 2.0, and in this video I'm going to be covering the installation of the software. There are installers for Windows, Linux, and Macs. In this video I'm going to cover the uh, Windows installation. The installation page has got the basic installer and a number of plugins and libraries that uh, you should really look at installing also. There's a new LADSPA plugin installer which installs 90 plugins that have ported over from Linux. Then of course there's the lame MP3 encoder that allows you to create and export MP3s. Finally the FFmpeg import export library allows you to handle a very wide range of files and allows you to also import video audio. I had no problems whatsoever installing these plugins. However, if you've got a, a Ninja installation of Windows on your computer, you probably need to direct the LADSPAR plugin to the correct plugin directory, uh, plugin subdirectory that is, wherever your Audacity folder might happen to be located. One thing that I did find after installation, however, was that it was difficult to navigate through the effects folder because I felt that the 90 uh, plugins from, from the LADSPAR plugin installer were a bit too many, and I also felt that the plugins were not particularly well selected for Audacity. The real problem, however, is that it's very difficult to scroll your way through the effects menu in Audacity. I think the menu is a little bit badly designed. If, like me, you're finding it a total pain to navigate through all these effects, you can go to the Preferences menu and untick the box for Enabling LADSPAR plugins, and that will remove all the LADSPAR plugins next time you restart Audacity. Well, it just hides them. You can actually uninstall them completely if you want to. My favorite new feature definitely has to be the clip fix effect, which I've covered in a previous video. It's used for um, fixing distorted audio, and there's so much clipped audio around nowadays that it's a really useful uh, feature to have within Audacity. My only regret is that it occurs below the line in the effects menu, so you can't actually use it in the uh, effects chain feature, which is another really useful feature in the program, and I'll probably cover that feature and a few others in videos to come. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.